Ooh, we have a whole skeleton army come in. Let's go ahead and arrow that down. Boom, got them all in one shot. That was super good. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're here with something new and exciting. If you notice, I am currently doing something I've never done before. I'm playing a mobile game. Now before you get scared, don't worry. This is not going to take up any of the spots of my normal gaming, such as American Truck Simulator or Downfall. All this is is a bonus episode. I want to get the chance to do it and kind of look into this game. I am a longtime Clash of Clan player, thanks to my wife. Who got me involved in it and addicted to it this particular game made by the same people much different game but it is set in the same world so the best way I can describe this game is this is a real-time strategy card collectible game I don't really know how else to say it basically you build a deck of eight different quote cards they basically act more a little bit like spells I'll say and you play in real time on a battle map trying to best your opponent with the deck that you have created. So if you notice here, each particular different type of creature has things like hit points, damage, targets, range, speed, all that jazz. There are literally a ton of different cards right now. And the game just came out, I think on the 3rd of March it was released globally. You have common cards, rare cards, and then of course you have epic cards of which I really only have one right now because I just started I'm only level three and I don't put any money into the game no real real cash goes into the game for me I've never really done it for clash of clans I just kind of long haul play it so to speak now my deck here is at the lowest end I would say you can have for arena two which is where I just managed to get into recently so I'm going to be up against people with very very good decks it's going to be very difficult for me to win but I'm going to show you guys how the game plays anyway will I get slaughtered yeah that's a damn good possibility um, but it's all in good fun so what you do is uh, we'll see the gameplay in a minute but the idea here is that through the gameplay you get these different chests and things as a reward and you crack them open Open for new cards and gold and gems and things like that so that you can continue to upgrade your deck they also have cards that are for sale every day you can just straight buy them with gold and uh, if you have enough gold obviously you can build a decent deck that way and then of course for uh, they, they, they have a team of people they have to pay and make a living as well so if you want to spend a lot of real money you can buy all kinds of gold so Let's go ahead and give a shot at a battle real quick and see if I lose terribly. Oh, I imagine I will. It's going to be great. So, the way the game works is we're going to have a battlefield. The battlefields are all the same. I mean, I'm not I'm not here saying that like there's all kinds of different items at this point. It's just basically like three towers for us, three towers for them, and we're trying to get their towers down. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and we'll be reactionary at first we'll see what they're gonna put down if they don't put anything down in the first few seconds we'll go ahead all right so they're gonna start with a giant that's fine we'll probably go ahead and respond with a valkyrie and a knight looks like they're putting down a bomber as well bombers interesting what they do is they throw bombs obviously that damage a range of people so let's go ahead and lay down our own bombs. Obviously, that is a skeletal horde. That is an epic card. Uh, that deals a lot of damage, obviously, and it's a huge hassle. Let's go ahead and lay down some arrows and clear that horde out because, quite frankly, I don't want to deal with it. We're going to have our own giant up in a little bit, and we will be doing that. That's not good for us. That is a little hut that auto-generates goblins essentially and they are a giant pain in the ass but there's nothing we can really do about it right now so we'll just let them continue to generate this guy also has a dragon wow dragons super tough they are uh, aerial creatures which means the only way that you can hit them is to have a way to hit things in the air and they have good hit points they have good damage they're basically just good all around and they're giant pains in the ass so oh well we'll just do the best we possibly can Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and put down some goblins real quick just to get the Valkyrie taken care of. We'll probably lead with the the prince here in a second. 
uh, yeah, let's go ahead and lead with the Prince. That'll take out the Musketeer right fast. If we can get a full charge, we will take this tower down in one shot just about. Ooh, we have a whole skeleton army come in. Let's go ahead and arrow that down. Boom, got them all in one shot. That was super good. Now we've opened up our area here to kind of come in on the side. We're going to start with a giant and then probably follow up with a Valkyrie. We want to come in on the side here like this so that it only goes on this tower. Let's go ahead and keep the pressure on. Looks like we have a ranged creature there. We're going to have to make sure that we put down our Musketeer and probably followed by... Mm, let's go ahead and throw down some arrows. We'll see if we can get some damage on these different creatures here. Ooh, that's bad. We now have to deal with these guys here. Our Valkyrie will do great at dealing with that though. She did. She went, she got, went and got some real good damage there. Now, we're still dealing with this stupid dragon. Uh, there's nothing I can do to deal with it. I am going to put down this giant to kind of take up some space. I'm going to go ahead and put this prince down and see if we can get in there and get a nice charge in. Oh, he's got two dragons down now. Let's go ahead and put down a musketeer. Our musketeer will get some damage going into the dragon. We'll go ahead and throw down one of these and another knight. Looks like we do have one dragon down. There's a skeletal army. We'll go ahead and take that out with our arrows. And it looks like we are going to win, but only because we managed to get one of the towers down and they didn't get any towers down. That is actually a really good win for me because I cannot believe I beat some more dragons. They are so powerful. And we got a magical chest out of the deal. This is super rare. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so glad I recorded this for you guys. This magical chest is way different than the other chests. Normally, these chests only have three cards and 20 to 25 gold but check out this magical chest guys 270 to 338 gold 41 cards and epic and eight rares i can't wait to unlock this i'm going to make sure to show you guys when i unlock that too i'll record it so we can see what's in it anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode i had a great time making it feel free to leave any kind of comments that you want to see me do i would like to kind of talk about maybe the different cards and what I feel their strengths and weaknesses are, and maybe some techniques on how you can win and be decent at the game without having to spend a lot of money. So if you want to see a guy who's going to play the game the freeway because you want to play the freeway, feel free to keep watching. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Stay foxy and much love.